2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, we'll start now. Okay, I hope everyone are able to see my screen as well. All right, so let me check what the compilation issues issues are there. Okay. So I hope uh, everyone they checked out the project and uh, fixed the compilation issues which we had. Uh, if not, please I request everyone to uh, fix those issues. Okay. Uh, let me first fix it from my side so that. So which I don't need, I'll, I'll basically comment, I'm commenting it out so that I don't take much time here. Okay, so I'm all set. All right. So in yesterday's class, we basically spoke about uh, an abstract and uh, there was a last question, uh, which uh, I think we covered up, but still uh, I, I told I'll be covering, covering up in the next session, but still I, we have covered that up, okay? So the last question was, uh, can we have uh, in an abstract class, non-abstract methods also? I think, yes, we even saw that uh, because when we spoke about an abstract class employee, we had an abstract method as well as your non-abstract methods also. Okay, so this is what in a, in an abstract uh, class, you can have both your uh, non-abstract methods as well as your abstract methods, okay? Yesterday's class, is it a good time to ask? Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the question is that uh, we created an abstract class mm -hmm. and then the abstract methods were implemented in the subclass. Right. And then we created another subclass and again we created the abstract methods. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Maybe the language is not correct, but mm -hmm. I'm saying that if we have an employee class and mm -hmm. then we created an IT employee class, mm -hmm. uh, like for example, and then we specialized it a little bit more and we said specified and we said that it is like Java IT employee. Right. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, you know, from the IT employee to the Java IT, we have abstract methods. Mm -hmm. Then the abstract methods of the employee class. The, do not get implemented in the Java IT. Uh, no, if suppose what happens is if it is in a hierarchy, uh, let's say we talk about an employee here and this employee has got, let's say two, uh, two abstract methods, okay? Now, if your IT employee is also an abstract uh, class, you don't have to implement that until if the subclass of your, uh, let's say Java employee, if I create a new class is Java employee right now, new class, uh, Java IT employee. And this Java IT employee is going to extend your IT employee. All right. So here in this case, if you see, uh, I've got some issues. Let me just fix those things. Okay. Now by default, your computer experience got implemented in your Java IT employee because uh, let's see what do you have in the IT employee. Okay, so IT employee basically has your computer experience. All right, and if we do not implement your uh, your uh, employee type, let's say I think you in your employee class you have got employee type. Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 sir, I just wanted to know, uh, like, is this class uh, in is in the recording mode? 
this is in recording mode yeah yeah not in uh, okay thank you for that but i have my own recording so which i send it to those guys so not a problem okay yeah thank you sir yep all right so here uh, as you can see here uh, your employee.java file it is having an abstract method if i do not Im uh, implement this particular method in my it employee because i know this is an hierarchy uh, employee to it employee it employee to java it employee okay now if i do not implement this employee type here at that point of time we will get an issue saying that you have to implement all the uh, methods which are there abstract in your the base classes is that what you were looking out madhu or uh can you unmute and uh, tell me is this what you, you were looking out for uh yes i was looking for this thing but mm -hmm. i couldn't catch the explanation uh okay which what part you are basically do not understand here why that we are doing we that have, uh, i don't understand that whatever abstract method we have in the employee class mm -hmm. we uh, why we cannot implement that in the java it employee yeah that's what we did it uh, here we had an abstract method employee I, employee type here okay and in the java it uh, employee.java that's what we have implemented this right now here we did that okay okay now the you might be having a doubt here that when it employee is uh, overriding the employee type here okay that point of time first of all to let you know your java it employee do not is it's not compulsory for the java it employee to override this because you are when i have an abstract method in the employee employee type uh in the it employee i'm basically implementing that or, or i'm uh, opening that uh, method here so i can do my own implementation in the it employee so any of the classes which is going to extend your it employee let's say there are three or four let's say dot net or xyz there are a lot of softwares are there so all they extend your it employee they can only take the default implementation if i simply say uh, sys out they will only take the default implementation i'll just say here i am an it employee okay where i'm giving an it employee because i'm giving an it employee in the it employee class itself but if a java employee want to uh, still implement that he can very well override this particular functionality okay but i am not forcing during compile time here at all okay he can very well copy and paste this and instead of saying it employee i am an it java employee is that clear Yes. So, okay. so the basic uh, answer is that no, you cannot uh, get the same skeleton in the uh, in the Java IT world. Uh, skeleton, see, skeleton is not at all. Skeleton only comes when you talk about abstract classes. Okay. Implementation comes in your subclasses itself. So in your subclasses, whenever any of the class is not abstract, you cannot even write a write a skeleton of a method here. okay Correct. so when i talk about skeleton your this is just a skeleton okay and this is your actual implementation this is an implement even though this is an abstract class we are implementing this so that the other classes which are going to extend your it employee okay they are going to might override this or might use the existing functionality also correct correct okay. so means that it is only useful for the first time like when we go from one class to the sub class only then later on we can make modifications or override or do anything right yeah the basic funda is you are, you just want to give some uh, default functionality at the super level okay correct so the same thing if you talk about employees here uh, in this i have just given a default functionality of a print name that print name as such because i know that this is just a generic method wherein if i invoke this from any of the employees they will give the name of the employee here so for that reason why should i copy this there is no point in copying this one and pasting it in your java employee right because 
I know that this print name will be used by whether it could be a, a Java employee or a Reliance employee or anybody. So anyone can use it. So my uh, my coding structure should be this should not be here. Instead, it should be on the top of the hierarchy. Okay. So while designing, it's very important to first understand where to put what. Okay, so this is a small example wherein uh, in practical also you use the same conventions. You first analyze what all data can be kept in which all places or else let's say you have done some implementation and down the line you want to uh, still uh, modify things. Yes, you can very well do that. But again, modification of your code, it, it takes a lot of resource, a lot of time as well. Okay, so it's very important to design your code uh, in a well-fashioned manner. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. All right. So let's move on. Uh, we spoke about abstract and uh, we spoke about extents. And in, in, in case of your company to hire, uh, we have already seen a, a kind of polymorphism wherein with the with the help of your ABC, sorry, with the help of the employee, if I say here, let's say, where is my ABC employee? Okay, ABC employee is gone, right? So even let me remove this. Okay, now I'll be having two, I'll be creating two classes right now. Already I have the Reliance Clothing employee and uh, I can even create uh, Reliance Oil employee. So I E M P. I don't know why this D is coming up all the time. Uh, is equals to uh, new of Reliance employee. Okay. So I'm just going to say here. Okay. <clears throat> now here, uh, as we even have seen that uh, with the help of my super class let's say here if it is an uh, reliance oil employee um, i can use my reliance employee here uh, as a generic use i can copy this copy this here and import the class here accordingly and with the help of the same reference uh, let's say this is your reliance name employee and with the help of this i can say rce dot which all methods are basically visible to me okay so I can just say employee type here. I can just say oil EMP dot employee type or employee behavior, anything which is actually visible to the, uh, I mean, which is actually present in your Reliance employee because a method which is not present in your Reliance employee, let's say, for example, I have some methods out here, which is only specific to your oil. If I say public void, okay, public void, uh, uh, oil employee behavior. Okay, so what I'm saying, I'm just uh, to be more specific, I'm talking about the oil uh, employee's behavior. I say sys out and just say I am oil employee. So what I'm saying, I'm just giving a specific behavior to the oil employees itself here, but this cannot be accessed with the help of the reference of your employee, Reliance employee, because when you say uh, on this particular Reliance employee dot, that's a period here, it only will give you the uh, details about what all methods are present in your Reliance employee unless and until it is visible to the outer class. When I talk about outer class, this is my outer class, okay? And as such, you know, private methods also cannot be visible as we have private variables. If your methods is a private, it cannot be accessed outside of the class. Okay. The same thing goes for other uh, modifiers also. Okay. Now, uh, I can even do this uh, in this way. I, and in this case, my uh, class is an abstract class here. I know that even I cannot create an instance of an abstract class. So, so these are the typical uh, behavior of a particular class okay so and you talk about polymorphism you can even do it in this way let's say you have uh, one particular method here i want to say public void <coughs> uh, show employee details so what am i going to do here is since okay now before even that what if i say employee here 
uh, access just that interface example okay so still this is possible if you can see uh, I have got Okay, I've got Reliance Oil Employee. Reliance Oil Employee is extending your Reliance uh, Employee. Reliance Employee is extending your Employee here. Okay, but still taking the reference of your the supermost class, I am basically creating a creating an object of your subclass here. Okay, so the same thing goes for your object also, and we even spoke about that the object is a supermost class in Java. Okay, now if you see. If I am using the object class here on the oil employee, I cannot uh, invoke the behavior of your employee because in your object class there is no method as employee behavior, right? Pretty plain and simple. Okay. Now, uh, here, being a Reliance employee, okay, uh, I uh, I know that being an employee, he knows how to play also, right? Now, when I say Reliance employee, it extends employee, right? So we are all talking about employees itself. We are not at all talking about any extra curriculum activities at all here, right? Now, what I want is, even being an employee, okay, uh, I want some extra behaviors in him. Is there a way to see all related uh, class, subclass, superclass, etc. in the diagram so we can see the logic picture of how uh, yes, uh, there is. Uh, I can do try downloading the UML uh, softwares. I think a couple of softwares are not even freeware. So I'll try. I'll show you that in the next class if I manage. Yeah, there's a question here. Uh, is there a way to see all the related classes, subclasses, superclasses, etc. in a diagram so we can see the big picture of how each class has been related? So yeah, answering to this question, yes, we we might be having an option. Uh, there is an option, in fact, if you have the uh, UML uh, plugin uh, in your in your uh, Eclipse, so we can do that. I'll try to uh, add some some flavors into it and see if I can show you that picture. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good approach. Yes, I will show that. <clears throat> All right. So I I want that even being a Reliance employee. Okay. Now let's say. Uh, the Reliance of employee, they are very fit and fine and IT employees, as, as you know, they are not at all fit and fine. They always sit in front of the system. They don't do anything, uh, even though uh, if, if, if for my case, I tell my wife to get me coffee, get me, sorry, I don't drink coffee, get me water and stuff. So we are very, very lazy guys. Okay. So I don't want, uh, so when I talk about some, some sportive events, okay, let's say a Reliance employee, they know how to jump properly, okay? But an IT employee doesn't know anything about it at all because he knows how to sit, okay? So here in this case, what I want is, uh, I want a Reliance employee, okay? Uh, because Reliance employee, okay, over here, he want, I want to add extra feature to it that is your jumpable, okay? Now what I can do, <clears throat> I can very well create a new class, all right? So what I can do, I can, uh, where is my employee? In the same hierarchy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class here. So I'm just going to say uh, new class jumping. Okay. Now, if why I'm putting uh, jumping in a different hierarchy? Reason is uh, when I talk about a particular hierarchy here, when I talk about your IT employee or Reliance employee or Reliance oil employee or Reliance clothing employee all belongs to a particular hierarchy. I cannot put this jumping in any of these hierarchy, okay? Because jumping jumping is something a extra curriculum activities which an employee might be having it, okay? But here in this specific, we are only talking about a Reliance employee who is having the capability, capability of jumping here, okay? Now, very well, I can do, I can put this as an abstract class and I can just say public void uh, jumping behavior, okay, jump behavior. V I O U R, okay, and I just say sys out and say I am Reliance employee who can jump. All right, so very plain and simple right over here. All right, now <clears throat> how do a particular class take the behavior of your Reliance employee? Okay. So coming on to your Reliance employee, if I say 
uh, okay if I say extends employee so can I say something like extends uh, jumping right so this is not possible in Java okay multiple you cannot extend multiple classes in Java all right so what we can do in this case so I'm going to delete this for now and even though I make this as an abstract also that that doesn't even work out for me okay if I just say abstract class jumping and I come back to my um, Reliance employee even though I say the same thing here it doesn't even work out for me okay so what is the rescue for me I want to still say that and uh, being a Reliance employee you are having a jumping behavior okay and uh, I want to implement that particular behavior I'm, I'm going to force the way I have being an employee I have forced the Reliance employee to implement the employee type behavior as well as your employee behavior okay and this is in general and this is uh, I'm saying okay what is the type of employee you are in okay now as the Reliance employee again I'm giving some behaviors here I can give something like uh, uh, okay it's as this is an abstract class so I'm just going to put say something like uh, public uh, abstract void uh, let's say uh, Reliance share so all the employees will be having their own share in the Reliance company okay now it is giving me some uh, issues because it has not been implemented so let me add the unimplemented methods okay so in employee as well as in the oil employee also okay pretty plain and simple uh, the thing which we saw it in the previous classes okay let me put it in this way okay now the concern is I want to say that uh, I want to add a jumping behavior to the uh, employee reliance employee okay I'm not at all not at all concerned about your IT employees here all right so uh, okay uh, all right so let me instead of making this an abstract I know this behavior I cannot use this behavior somewhere uh, on the employee okay uh, so what am I going to do is I'm going to make this as an interface okay so I have made a particular in, I have made an interface right now okay and in that interface I am going to just keep the skeleton of a particular method okay now let's see what is going to happen now when you talk about interfaces it, it is a very generic term which can be used across the objects okay now here let's say I know that an IT employee never jumps but let's say I, I, I create in the same hierarchy or in some other package I create a new class as robot right now I know that robot uh, being a robot uh, he can basically jump also okay so I can plug in this particular jumping behavior to a robot I can jump in this particular behavior to a reliance employee also or any kind of employees also but here in specific I am talking about your reliance who can jump here ID employees cannot jump okay so I, I basically will make this J U M P A B L E so the naming convention should be something like jumpable runnable uh, and things like that okay so I just made this as a jumpable and uh, make this as a jumpable here dot java okay now I have made an interface here as jumpable okay so let me push this to a package new uh, package dot interfaces okay as you know we cannot give interface because it's a keyword so I say interfaces and I am going to move this to interfaces okay and let me do one thing uh, reliance employee let me create a new package new package uh, IT employee finish and push this IT employee and Java employee under the so that we are pretty much clear on the implementation okay so you'll be getting some issues with it click on this change package declaration okay click on this oh did I move this okay that's fine let me click on this click here I'm good 
now it came back again push this here okay so change this to this save it change this to this save it okay what it says uh, is inconsistent there is some problem here okay uh, the method this of the type must override and uh, implement a super type method here cannot be resolved organize so this is your okay all right so we are good right now so it's pretty much clear right now so when you talk about interfaces it's here when you talk about id employees it's here when you talk about reliance it is here and on the top you have got just your employees here okay that's what we are talking here uh, mm -hmm. jeram yeah uh, this is lydia i just want to clarify so interface uh, basically is you can use that class from any other inheritance tree you said uh, without any connection to the current i mean it doesn't have to be extended we will see that okay just have, uh, oh. wait for a minute okay we'll, you'll see the complete picture of what an interface is all about okay thank okay. now uh, what did it uh, let's not even concern about our it employee here and uh, we are having an employee here and as i said i'm going to have an interface out here as jumpable and if you can see the same thing what i have used in 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 your abstract class the same thing i can use it in this way so if you go and see your abstract class here i have got some default functionality here uh, the same way you have got public abstract void the only thing is so if i say a b s t r a c t okay so you don't have to say this you know in interface by default every method is abstract and public okay now here in this case if you do not give as an abstract it basically will give you a issue with the signature of your abstract method okay so we have to give it as an abstract here so when you talk about could talk about an abstract method that means you are forcing the subclasses to implement it okay so I'm, i keep on saying this so that you guys are uh, will be pretty much comfortable on on what i'm saying okay now the same thing goes here uh, when i say public abstract void jump behavior okay that means somewhere at the uh, somewhere at one particular class uh, the class is going to implement this particular behavior right now as i said by default all the methods in an abstract uh, in an abstract uh, okay so by default if all the methods will be abstract and public so even though i delete this doesn't matter okay so default is public abstract you don't have to specify that but if still you want to specify you are very much welcome to do that as well okay now first of all let me give you a difference here in an abstract class you can have an abstract method as well as a non abstract method also okay what happens if i just copy this and print it here okay i will i will basically get a compile time error uh, say so it, it says you cannot basically have abstract methods do not specify a body so it 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 finds that okay what all methods you have it it will not even have any any body in it okay so that that's what it assumes but you have a body in this all right so remove this so which is ruled out you cannot create any uh, a method which is having a default implementation out here now let's go back to the uh, reliance employee so i'm at the reliance employee right now so i want that this reliance employee should inherit a behavior of a jumpable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say an abstract class okay uh, which is a uh, class reliance employee which is extending an employee and implements okay jumpable so control shift o p l e m e n t s okay Okay. so i just did control shift o as a result you know this is kind of a shortcut if any of the classes or interfaces has to be implemented i can very well say control shift o automatically this gets implemented for me
okay otherwise it will ask you for some suggestions wherein uh, there are multiple jumpable of the same type then you can choose one among them okay now uh, what i did is i have made i have implemented a particular class okay first instead of putting it here let me delete it from here and uh, let's talk about uh, the oil employee okay all right so in the oil employee what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this oil employee is going to extend your reliance employee and implements your jumpable interface okay now if you see here when i implement this directly to a subclass which is not an abstract it is going to give me a compile time error okay so i have to do i have to add unimplemented method so what i did i have added it uh, added the unimplemented method to the reliance oil employee here okay so what am i going to do here i am going to give a default implementation for that particular uh, method i am just going to say uh, sys out i am reliance oil employee who can jump also okay apart from having some other behaviors i even have a jump behavior also okay so very well and good here because even when i do an implementation i have to uh, override the method of the jump behavior all right so what if i basically don't do this here and push the same code okay instead of putting it here i am going to put it back to the reliance employee okay now there is no compilation error in the reliance employee class why the reason is as this particular class is by itself is an abstract and we have already seen that when your super class is abstract and you have some methods in it uh, some abstract methods in it in your sub classes you if your sub classes are also abstract they are not uh, it's not compulsory for them to implement or override the abstract methods we have already seen that in the previous session okay but right now as i said uh, as i said being an abstract class i don't have any compilation issues but if you go back to the reliance oil employee reliance oil employee also is having a compile time error as well as your reliance clothing employee also has a compile time error why because we have not implemented what we have not implemented the jump behavior out in the reliance employee if you want to still give a jump behavior to the reliance employee you can definitely add the unimplemented methods here and you can be a compile free code at all completely okay now here in this case why did i add why have i why do i have this kind of structure right here okay now let me implement the unimplemented methods out here okay added this and added this okay uh okay now just one question here i have got a compile time error here i have no compile time error here right because this is clothing it has already implemented the jump behavior from the interface but this did not do that and i got a compile time error here so can you just guys type in what should i do in order to make my code compile free i want answer from all the folks uh, just repeat the question again please yeah the question is i have reliance clothing employee which does not have a compile time error here because reliance clothing employee is extending your reliance employee and reliance employee is implementing a jumpable and in your jumpable you have got a abstract uh, method over here or a method in it okay and why do i get a compile time error in your reliance oil employee but not in clothing and what should i do in order to make my code compile free here so what should i do i don't want to implement i know that if i implement this uh i'm good here so i'll be not i'll not be having any compile time error at all because i'm overriding the functionality of your interface 
So I'm just want to comment this out. Okay, I got a correct answer one. So I want everyone to type in privately and uh, tell me the answers or an answer. That's all. No answers. Jeram, I just stepped out. What is the question? Uh, the question is, uh, I've got a compile time error here. Okay, so I want to figure out uh, what is the problem. So I, I just. Uh... H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.